welcome to our video. And this video is, is um, joined by Ruby. It's joined by Ruby. So many of you guys that keep asking me for months and months and months and months, how in the heck do we get my parents to buy me a horse? So this video is for you guys that have been asking. Uh, we're gonna tell you how to get your parents to buy you a horse. You know how to get your parents to buy you a horse? Yeah, make them ride. Make yeah. them ride. Make your parents interested in horses. That's the fastest, surest way to get your own horse. That's what Gabby did, right? And it was true. She pushed me and pushed me and pushed me oh, to ride. And Ziggy did. Yeah, and I found a horse that I love. Oh, or lie. Mom, bring it, like show them a miniature pony. Mom, can we get this horse? Oh, it's so cute. Sure. Buys like 17.3 <laughs> hand horse. That's so funny. So uh, that definitely worked for you. What about you? How do you get your parents to, how would you get your parents to buy you a horse? Mm -hmm. Beg them and beg them. Beg them and beg them, which um, brings me to uh, tip number one. Hey, All right, so that? you're ready. You know you're ready. You've been <coughs> riding for ages. You spend all of your extra time thinking about how amazing your riding would change if you had your own horse. And you spend time daydreaming about the amazing bond you're gonna have with your new horse. You have the color picked out, the sex picked out, the breed picked out, and you know you are ready. <laughs> now all that's left is to uh, convince your parents or pay for it by yourself. To convince your parents that you're ready. So the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you wanna convince your parents that you're ready for a horse is to beg, cry, plead, and argue. <laughs> I've never cried. I say I want a horse like every single day. Dad, all my friends have horses. I'm the only one without a horse. Daddy, I need a horse. Will you buy me just one horse, please? Dad, can you please give me a horse? There's nothing else to do. Uh, if you won't buy me a horse, then I'm never coming out. Only one is a horse. When it's the only thing in earth that I want. Like, why won't anybody buy me a horse? If that doesn't work for you, um, the very next thing that you're going to try is to convince them. Like, you guys know how to convince your parents that you're ready. So make it your job to go out there and convince them that you are mature enough and ready enough to I'll own your own horse. Mom, I'm doing the dishes for you. Mom, did you hear me? I'm washing your dishes. I'm being responsible. Mom, I picked up wrapping. Do I get a horse now? Mom, I'm helping you pack for the trailer. I hope this gets me a horse. If those two things don't work, then this one definitely will. Let them know how horrible your life is without a horse. Parents always respond to emotional distress in their children. When they can see that their children are emotionally distressed, they will do anything to make sure that their kids are happy. Mostly dads, our dad does it. Mostly dads, that's right. So this last step, make sure you target your dad. Ugh, I'm so bored. Nothing to do, no friends to play with. If I only had a horse, I would be so happy. Dad, can I have a horse? Ask your mom. All kidding aside, you guys, having a horse and owning a horse is a huge responsibility. It's a huge financial commitment. You guys know that. You guys are the ones that schooled us on that before we bought our first horse. So clearly not everybody is gonna get a horse. Not everybody's parents can buy them a horse. Um, so the very first thing that you guys really have to know is can your family legitimately afford a horse? If your parents are working so hard all the time and um, still struggling financially, then obviously a horse is not something that you are gonna be able to afford right now. So just stressing them out and making them sad that they can't provide you with a horse is just not gonna be, you know, it's just gonna make them feel bad. 
So the very first thing you need to decide is, can my family really afford a horse? If you answered yes to that question, then this next step is for you. Your family can genuinely afford a horse and the reason that your parents aren't buying you one is because they think you're not ready or they think that you're not ready for the responsibility. Um, a large part of the reason why parents don't buy things for their kids is because they aren't into it themselves. So what I suggest if you are in a position for your parents to buy you a horse is to do the work for them. Go out there, find a horse that you love, find out the price, search around, find out how much it would cost to board at some place, do all the um, all the work for them. Find out how much it would cost for food. Find out how much the farrier is. Write it all down. And when you have all of your information ready and you have a plan written down for them to look at um, that shows how you're going to manage school work with your horse, how you're going to manage um, helping to pay for your horse with your job, have everything all figured it out, figured out, write it down, present it to them together after a couple of glasses of wine. No, just kidding. <laughs> Present After a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, present it to your, to your parents and say, you know, I've thought about this really hard. Explain to them why you want a horse, how you're gonna get the horse, how you're gonna help pay for it, how much it's all gonna cost, and that's the best way to convince your parents how to buy you a horse. It's gonna take a lot of work on your part, a lot of figuring things out, and some of that stuff is really fun, and it's gonna probably take um, you showing your parents how responsible you are, and lots of times when you find out all that information and plan the whole thing out, and all they have to do is hand over the money, that will be, um, lots of parents would realize, would, Realize lots, you're responsible. Lots of parents have realized that you're responsible. If you can do all of that, then you are responsible enough to have a horse. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below what other kind of videos you want to see. Um, and Sophie, are you happy to have a horse? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're mature enough to have a horse? Yes. Do you think you are responsible enough to have a horse? Yes. Do you no. think you're old enough to have a horse? Yes. Do you think you're mature enough to have a horse? No, kind of. Responsible yeah. enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gabby kind of is really at that age. I save money. Where she's starting to be ready for a horse. But for I really us. I only save money. I don't have any money. I'm only making money. Yeah, she just started to make money. But for us, um, Sam and I are the ones that are responsible for the horses ultimately because we're the parents and we decided to take on that role for our kids because it's what we wanted. We love the horses. They're family horses and that's how we ended up with horses. But anyway, that's it. Good luck to you. I hope to hear lots of stories about I got my first horse because of you. Um, and that's it. So see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.